Banana, banana, it's the big sports game. All the champs are doing sports things. Hello, I'm sportscaster Chet Michelson. And I'm former player Michael Chetson. We got a great day of sports ahead of us. We sure do, Mike. I've heard reports that Tom Kent is finally back from his rework and being put in the game. Well, Chet, this is going to be a great day for sports fans everywhere. Tom has been on the bench for too long, and, and this will put him back into the scene. There have been some haters, but overall it's been well received, and it's going to be a great change. All those who are opposed to this rework will either pretend like they never were, or will build resentment forever. That's certainly too, Mike. But weren't you one of those people who were pushing back against it? Well, I had some criticisms, but that doesn't make me a hypocrite. Well, aren't you quoted here saying that this is the worst thing Riot has ever done, worse than a thousand Aurelian souls? Uh, uh, well, the, the, the thing about that is, uh, cut to commercial. <laughs> After over a year of hype, Tom Kent's rework is finally coming out at 11.13. This rework is kind of like the Josh fight. You heard him talk about it for the longest time, but you never thought they would actually do it. Or that it would turn out this epic. Shout out to my boy Josh, the only one. Sorry Josh from the Bible. Leading the Jews back into Israel is nothing compared to winning a pool noodle fight. Tom Kent's got some visual changes, and, and they're sort of a hit and miss. His passive no longer changes color, which is a really weird change. The old one was a motive, and you could easily identify it in a crowd. This one blends in with the river and makes it hard to tell what you're even doing. Maybe they reworked it so the average low elo player associates colors with traffic lights, and red means stop so they never would engage. Or maybe they're trying to level the playing field for the colorblind, fighting bowls, or people who dislike the warm color spectrum. All my subs are blue, purple, and green, because they're all cool colors. You should consider subscribing. What? Don't you want to be cool? Tom Kent's new W animation coming out of the water is a million times better. You see his eyes on the way up, it's just chef's kiss. Good job, Riot. Tom Kent's new R now makes him especially blue or red, and he spits out a page or skin item when he regurgitates a champ. The last change is they renamed Tom Nagatoro because he bullies people in lane. <laughs> now let's talk about what Tom's abilities are. If you already know how Tom works, or you think you know better than me, which you probably do, then you may want to skip ahead to this part of the video. Tom's passive is acquired taste, and despite cosmetics, it's exactly the same as before. Passive has two parts. It applies a stack for every auto attack in queue. More on that later. The stacks have a max of three. The second part is Tom does more damage based on health. The logic is getting hit by a low health Tom is like getting hit by an RC Tom. But getting hit by a full health Tom is like getting hit by an AT wheel. Speaking of truckers, Tom's got that trucker body we all wish we had. Tom looks like he just downed some PBR after his third eating contest of the day. And now he's got to power on the Ho Chi Minh trail at triple digits and hope Smokey doesn't shoot him in the back if he's going to make his delivery on time. Ten four, good buddy. Tom's body comes in handy when it comes to his next ability, thick skin. Tom's motto in life is tis but a scratch. The damage he takes is stored as gray health and can be used in one of two ways. It slowly turns back into green health over time. And you can remember from the traffic light, green means good. So that's the good health. That's the health you want. You can also activate your E and turn all that gray health into a shield. This makes Tom pretty much unkillable. It also incentivizes you to take damage for your ADC. We call this the art of the peel. Okay, now for the new stuff. Tom's W is Gene Simmons' revenge. He tongue punches the enemy, slowing them and applying his passive for a stack. It also may heal him, I'm not sure. That last part is new. When he hits somebody with his Q that has three stacks, he stuns them. Which, to be fair, I'd be pretty stunned too if I just got licked by a 300 pound catch of the day. Tom's W is his gap closing. This is a short distance TP that knocks up enemies. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Use this wisely, because having it in your back pocket as an escape can really be valuable to you and your ADC. You can also TP into walls and come out the other side. So use this if you want to get out of the alcove, or just cheese the enemy. Every 
Now, before we continue our talk about Tom's ultimate, please join us in a moment of Bible study. Please open your Bibles to Jonah chapter 1, verse 17. Now, the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Now, what this means is... Hey, preacher, can we get this show on a roll, please? Chet Michelson's sports commentary starts in 20 minutes, and I need to know what he thinks about the odds on the game so I can win my wedding ring back for my bookie. Okay, we'll make it quick. Now, Tom's ultimate may not last for three days and three nights, but it definitely feels like it lasts a lot longer than it did before the rework. Just like God took Jonah out of a self-destructive path, you too need to do the same thing when you're playing Tom. Use this to save your carries by swallowing them, or by swallowing the most threatening enemy. There's a boar joke in there somewhere, but we are in the house of God, so I'm not going to say it. Use this to save your ADC from skill shots, or when they decide to overstay at tower. You can also grab enemies, and then walk them under tower. Taking an enemy out of the fight turns a 3v3 into a 3v2 instantaneously. And then once you killed the other two, you can just spit out the other one and then deal with it. Now thank you for attending our service and go sports team! Now that we've established what the abilities are, let's talk about interactions. These abilities have cool interactions surrounding the ultimate. If you queue a three stack enemy and press R as the tongue is going out, you'll swallow the champ. This is a great way to catch those dine and dashers. D don't you know the party's over here? You can also use your W in tandem with your R. This works a lot better than before, because you don't need to spam ping yourself for the ally to get what's going on. Before you had to beg the ally to come with you to go on a trip. Now, you're not asking. They're coming with you. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. Like I said, Support Tom is all about soaking damage for your enemy. And Top Tom consists of just being a little rascal, and continuing to live despite all the damage they do to you. Tom's the boss hop, and to play him, you need to betray a level of BDE. You don't take shit from anyone, and you protect your ADC like a less aquatic big daddy. Overall, this was a well-executed change. The abilities flow into each other very well, and solved Tom's number one issue, which was lack of mobility. It still maintains the same spirit of the last one, but gives it just a different imagination of it. Now, whether this was the right decision or not is really up to you. Let me know in the comments what you think about the rework. And be sure to subscribe so I can get that micro serotonin boost that only comes from external validation from strangers. If you don't want to be strangers, join our Discord. I also fixed the link so it should work now, I swear. Also, Twitch, Patreon, you get it. Bye!